You want to intro the episode? We need an intro. Um, hello? We're going crappy fishing. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jay Siemens. That is Hayden Martin. Uh, Hayden just got his commercial pilot license, which is super exciting. I've flown with him the last couple years. We've done some videos together, but he wrote a big test. It was all delayed because of COVID. He wrote it how long ago? A couple months ago? About a month ago. He wrote the test a month ago. He passed. So now he can, he can fly for a living, which is super exciting. Yeah, it's first ice for planes, I guess you might say. And we got 10, 12 inches on some of the smaller lakes in the, in the North Country. So if you didn't see last video, I'll link it below. We put the beat down, smack down, crack down, as Eric Hadio would say, on some walleyes. And now we're, uh, we're flying yonder to find some crappies. So I'm very excited because we're going to a pretty remote location to find these, these crappies. And uh, I've never been there in the winter before. So enough talking. Hayden's gonna get us up in the sky. He said I could fly this time, which is something I've been asking for a while. So I'm gonna be taking control of the stick and uh, Hayden will be hanging on tight. Here we go. What are you looking for? We're doing the inspection before we fly. Check my oil. Yep. Make sure all that stuff's good. It's still warm, so. What year is this, this bird? This is a 1967 Piper Super Cub. So you will put this on skis. It went from floats to wheels now, and then it'll go skis next once there's a little more snow. Yeah, I use the wheels for um, between seasons. Normally I'd be on skis already by now, but our snow conditions are pretty lackluster. All right, here we go. Next stop, hopefully some big pie plate black crappies with Hayden Martin. I had to pee so bad. Me too. All that peach drink you fed me. You're so graceful. Look at that booty. <laughs> Do I just gotta drop to the floor? Yeah, I'll put that step back in there. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just think about your passengers. Oh, I'm so happy! Welcome to paradise! This is as good as it gets. I am getting spoiled fly and ice fishing. I know, I know, I am a, I'm a lucky, a lucky man. This is a spot that I crappie fished a couple years ago, stumbled upon when I was pike fishing. I thought, you know what, there's probably safe ice here. And I didn't think anyone had been here yet. And no one's been here yet. So anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna get the pistol bit out. We're gonna get the live scope rocking and we're gonna tag team some crappies. I got some new cool baits to show you, which I'm very excited about. First time that I'm gonna be using them. First time Hayden's gonna be using them. And, uh, Hopefully we're coming home with a couple black crappies in the plane. Will there be crap stars here? Oh man. <laughs> Those all crappies? They gotta be. There's one there. There's one right under us. All right, we're gonna talk all about the new baits that we're using today. But first off, we found some crappies. So today the spot we're set up on is a basin. It's this collection point, a big depression, a divot, you might say. We're fishing a, a small lake that doesn't have a lot of deep water. So just sometimes they all collect in one spot. That's what makes crappies really volatile in the winter is, is if they all stack up in one spot, they can get, they can get beat up in a hurry. Um, so you gotta, you know, practice catch and release because a big crappie can be an old fish. This fish is just staring at me. I think he meant to say he's gonna protect the resource. That was heavy. Yeah, that wasn't light. That was not light. There's my bait, and you can see a fish slithering on the bottom towards me. That fish is coming up for you now. For sure, that fish is coming up to you. Come on. You just gotta trigger him. Tantalize him. Okay, he's gonna eat right now. Right now. Two crappies. <sighs> what is going on? What is going on? He's still there. I know. He's coming back to you right now. Right there. Fish is gonna eat his bait right now. Look at this. Look at this. Would you look at this, please, Hayden? Bless. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's not small. Feels pretty tiny, Jay. Stop. I haven't caught a crappie in 
two years That's ago. not small. Holy. <laughs> That's not small at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first crappie, and it's not small. Probably uh, 12 and a half, 13 inches. Nice. On a new bait, which I'm gonna tell you about very soon, but we're, we're gonna put that, that beautiful slab, slab daddy back. These are the two baits I'm talking about. The larva, which you just caught the fish on, and the spike, which I'm using right now. This is the elasto larva. It's stretchy. Look at that. It's got that indestructible type plastic, which also helps you from getting pants because it keeps your bait in place. So this one looks like, yeah, a larva type deal. And then I have the indestructo, the indestructo spike. And I don't know if this is gonna focus nicely, but look how stretchy that is. So the nice thing is you just don't go through nearly as many plastics. It's kind of a, a bad move on Frostbite's part because now people are gonna buy less plastics. <laughs> but no, I mean, they last forever. That's, that's the beauty of it, right? You can catch a lot of fish on. Hayden leaves for a second. And I, What's going on over here? And I cash in. What? Oh, they're all nice, eh? Slab daddy. All right, this is good. This is good. You know, there's those days where you have to drill 40, 50 holes for crappies. I think we're up to maybe nine holes for us so far. Okay, we should try those other holes because I think there's, I think there's better. Oh, 25 feet. Yeah, look at all the fish out there though. 20 feet. And then if you go to the next, yeah, let's go to that. Let's go to that pod. Okay, we're actually on the mother load right now. Dude, there's so many fish down there. There's a lot of fish down oh, there. Oh, I know. That guy underneath me is charging up. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh man. We're on them now. It took, I mean, it didn't take much at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like we searched a bunch. All right. Two for the spike. One for the oh, larva. That, no, no. Two for the indestructo bug. Oh yeah, you're right. One for the larva. So I helped you out. Look at this pot of crappies coming in. Look at those ones down low. I don't know which I want. That could be a crappie too. They like me. Oh wow. Oh wow. Kind of just reeled into that one. <laughs> It was on there for, I think, longer than... <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the Panta stick, also known as the Pantastic. Oh, wow, that fish got attacked by something once upon a time. And that proves that we're not catching the same fish again and again. I was really worried about that. The viewers might have thought so. <laughs> Biggest piece of advice I can give you to target these crappies is to get yourself a plain and a pilot buddy like Hayden. <laughs> Certainly makes accessing a lot easier. Oh yeah, maybe Hayden will catch one. I'm not sure if it's the bait as much as, it might be more the angler. Do you feel that? Mm. They're taking a bit of finesse. A bit. It's the hardest crappies I've ever had to catch. Look at that blob coming behind. Those are the big ones. Look at the other blobs coming in. I feel like my hole needs to be- oh! As they all get scared away. Oh, it's just, there's constant fish cycling through. I don't really have an urge to move right now. Yeah, they're gonna eat at some point. Yeah. They're like, they're, they're already eating, but when they turn on a little more, it could be pretty wild. This fish is slowly drifting towards oh my, my bait. Gosh. You got him. Oh, you had him. You he fully came had him. So fast. Ooh, look at the other mark. This came in on me. Yeah, this one's coming in hot. Yes. Oh. Ooh, this might be the best one yet. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hold him in the water so we can get the double header shot. Yeah, mine's way bigger. <laughs> All right, get in here, hold him right beside mine. Nice. Man. Sun is shining. It's probably like... Three degrees out here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And the fish are just kind of cycling through. We're not really having to move. I think their mood's just gonna improve as the day goes on. We can't fly in the dark. I mean, we can, but. We're not going to. We're probably not going to. There's just stuff happening. Now there's two fish. 
Welcome back to uh, me too. You're fishing with the dipstick? I believe so, yeah. Dipstick, that's, yeah, dipstick or Fantastic are kind of the two main crappie options in the frostbite lineup, unless you're sight fishing, then you can use the sight bite, but that's more of a bluegill thing. We make fun of that rod, because that's the one Alex designed. Aaron designed all the rods, Alex designed one, and we just like to make fun of it. If all these fish were in like a chomping mood, it would be pretty ridiculous. It would be insane. Like, look how many, I just looked at the live scope for the first time in Yeah, there's 10 a minutes. lot of fish. Mm, there's mm. definitely a... <laughs> <laughs> that is what we like, right there. 30, 30 feet, so that's a little more than a boat. That's how I try to picture it in boat lengths. Oh. Is that good? You're right on them. Nice. I'm gonna drop right in one's mouth. I think that's not it. Well, maybe that is a crappie swimming around there. Here we go. Just furthering that lead, Hayden. Just furthering that lead. You're right, I am furthering my lead. Almost lost that one like three times. That's a cute one. That That'll... was pretty good timing. That was pretty good timing, I'll give you that. Stop, get out of my way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> Even the Vex is loaded. Smaller ones over here, right there, that's the goods. It's the lumber you need for the magic number. Look at that big blob coming along the bottom. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm just so zoomed in right now. You're gonna see his mouth open because I'm so zoomed in. <laughs> There's two. Oh wow, that fish's mood changed quick. Look at that guy. It's a good one. Finally, Jay. That was crazy. Yeah, like all of a sudden his mood just changed. And that was the same fish that I was in front of like the whole time. Looks like a good one too. Well, maybe they're small ones. I mentioned this before, but like you can get away with overworking a bait for walleyes. You can get away with overworking a bait for lake trout and stuff, but like you're not gonna get away overworking a bait for crappies. Like there are situations where you can go a little more aggressive, but man. This is not one of them. No, you're pretty much just holding it there. The, the main reason that I'm often lifting it or moving it is so I can just like, it makes those bites a little more obvious. Cause when I'm lifting, obviously it, it you know, probably feels like the bait's getting away, but more so when that bait's lifting, when they grab it, it'll just be that moving in opposite directions, right? So that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm lifting. It's also really hard to see the separation between the fish and the bait when you're not lifting away from it. Yeah. There's a couple nice ones coming in, dude. Coming in your direction. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna hit one first. Oh baby, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. I saw him coming from so far away. I'm using four pound braid and a seven pound floral leader. And we are having- I'm getting smoked. A smackdown. yeah, this is, you know what? This makes me feel good after getting crushed by Aaron the other day. The mood of these fish is definitely changing. Come on. It is just nice to be out here. Where do you want to go? Which direction should we go? Looks like a bunch of adult fish there. Let's go this way. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. This is absolutely redemption after getting whooped by Aaron. Nice. Bigger than the last couple. Sun is setting. I am fishing this on a four millimeter tungsten. This is the bluegill color with the bug muck spike color. There's so many fish down here. All sorts of age classes too. Isn't this ridiculous? This is crazy. Like your knee pads, you're such an old man. Oh, this other fish just got wind of my jig. He's all, let him eat it. Slow down, you ate it. Finally. This it's a good feels, one. This one feels good. You gonna grab him for me? Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm grabbing the camera for that one. 
show me. Nice. Crap star right there. Good job, buddy. Nice. All right, that's good to see we're still getting some bigger ones. I don't know if I discussed too much. Yeah, so these, these crappie basins, they could be 15 feet deep, they could be 30 feet deep, but these collection points, um, yeah, they collect all the bugs and that's that's why they're here. That's why the baits we're using look like bugs. Not that they don't feed on minnows and stuff too, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's kind of shallow, a lot of shallow spawning area around here. And I know that this is, I think the deepest spot in this lake. So it seems like there's a lot of fish here. Come on. They're keeping on the big bait now. This one feels even bigger. Come on, show me. Oh, I think nice. that is one of the bigger ones today. That little bug, that's what's doing it. Amazing. Goodbye. There's a big mark coming into you. It's two big ones. Oh, wow. These fish are just cruising. The ones, these ones that are like just a little bit higher up here, like two, three of them, I feel like they're bigger fish and they're just kind of hunting. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I felt so good. Oh, ho. All right, guys, we are calling it with that. We got to fly back when there's still some light. Hayden, thank you so much for the awesome day. A blast. There you go. Put these big crappies back. Awesome. Well, these new baits passed the test in my book. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more flying vids, leave a comment. If you don't want more flying vids, Leave a comment. If you think Hayden should shave his beard, leave a comment. You can comment whatever you want, really. 